So here and today it is an extremely sunny day here in the UK so we are on our way to Brighton Beach I've heard that it is best beach here in the UK so let me show you guys what that is like all right guys so now we have made it to Milton Keynes Central uh, today the trains from Northampton are not operating due to some disruption and uh, so we had to take the bus so the bus has dropped us to Milton Keynes Central and from there now we will be taking the Avanti C to C. We're almost on time, so let us just get to it real quick. Now we're just waiting for the train, and the train is going to be here in the next five minutes or so. And from there on, we will be heading to London Victoria Station. And from the Victoria Station, we will take another overground and going straight to Brighton Beach. So another uh, an hour to an hour and a half journey left. So yeah, it is a bit crowded today because it is the weekend as well. Uh, the sun is out, so weather is very, very pleasant. A bit hot, but yeah, not too bad overall. All right, guys, so now we have arrived at Brighton Station and uh, it took us around an hour from London, Victoria to get here. The ride wasn't too bad. It was a bit crowded, but again, this is a weekend, so that was a bit expected. And now we're just waiting for the bus to take us to the seafront. And it's showing that you can get there by walking 20 minutes, but also the bus ride is 15 minutes. So due to the weather being too hot, I'd prefer to take the bus so yeah i'm just waiting for that and i'll show you guys what that is like all right guys so now we have arrived at the famous brighton pier and as you can see that it is extremely crowded but there are dedicated spaces where people can sit so let us see how close we can get to the water and maybe have a little quick dip guys uh, just got back from the beach and we are here at the pier so the beach is really nice it is a bit uh, like there are stones in the water but if you go further down then it is good enough to swim and since the weather is hot outside the water was a bit cold but overall a good dip and yeah uh, all good vibes over here And now we are walking towards the end of the Brighton Pier and they've got a lot of shops in between for food and snacks and one of the famous things that I'm seeing here is fish and chips. Let me see if I can find a good one and maybe we can try that out as well. So they have a fun land at the end of the pier. It's not that huge but it has a couple of rides that I can see from here. Let me get a bit closer and see what that is like. So guys, uh, that was the Brighton Pier and the thing is that we just came here for a day trip and I could didn't get much time to cover the town center 
because I'll be heading back shortly. Overall, it's a good place for a day trip or maybe staying one night over here because I can see there are a lot of activities, especially if you've got kids. And during the summer, it is one of the top spots in the UK. Uh, because other than that, if you are coming here during the rainy season, it won't be much worth it. But other than that, yeah, a lot of good arrangements. They've got public toilets, uh, fun land, a lot of activities for the kids. So yeah, definitely recommend it. And I'll be heading back now shortly. So I will show you guys what that is like.